All right, we're back. We're trying to figure out what happened to some Osaram hunters. Perhaps my focus who went be. missing here at this Banuk camp where people are really chill with these robots. And I mean, like, profoundly chill. They don't even care if I do that. So I'm going to touch their brains with my focus and see what's going on. I'm going to be really honest. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for when it comes to sounds and signals. Like, when I look at these animals with my focus active, they make noise. Yeah, like, I can hear these things, like, making noises, but that doesn't really mean anything to me, to be honest. So I don't think that's the signal I'm looking for. I think I'm actually looking for, like, a legit clue on the ground that it just isn't present here. There's a, there's a zip line up onto the top of the hill, so maybe there's, like, something up the hill that I'm looking for. But it still says that I'm looking for something here in town, so I don't... I honestly don't know. Focus could turn something up. Travel well. Oh, that's new. What is this? Supply crate. Uh, did I get this already, or is this just a thing I can loot? Alright, that was not actually what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Same with this one. So yeah, we're back for some more Horizon Zero Dawn. We got sent here by some random dude. I honestly thought this was just more of the Nora territory. Here inside of the game. But it looks like it's just something else entirely. And that maybe there's just more area outside of the map as I go further north. Because I thought that maybe this area, like beyond the area here, that maybe this was just like ocean because the polar ice caps melted and something happened like thousands of years ago. But maybe that this is just an isolated part of the world that has changed for a different reason. So, is there something up here? There's a there's a campfire up there, but there's like there's nothing. What? There, signal. And the source is at the top of the mountain. I better look into it. Okay, so there is actually just like a weird signal off in the distance. If you fart around and look around long enough. Color me surprised. So somewhere up here is the source of this mysterious something or other. And that will hopefully reveal to us what in the world is going on. So maybe, maybe up here, so before something happened years ago, and this was like even before Aloy was, I think, around to really understand any of it and be alive. Would you like to, oh. I was like, where are we supposed to go? Am I supposed to hop off of here? Even before Aloy was alive, there was something that made the robots go from docile and chill to dangerous. And it's hard to say what that might have been. Now, I think it's the involvement of Hades. I think Hades woke up and started making all this shit a problem. 
And before that, the robots would, for the most part, just defend themselves, but not really hurt anyone. Are these guys gonna attack me? Alright, I guess I'll leave them alone. I'm gonna save here real quick, because I don't want to die. What's going on? So... There's a couple of humans up here that have tied up the Oseron and left them here in the snow. I guess shards can buy a conscience. <laughs> Never mind that. Nora, girl, you have to stop the others. Up ahead, we snuck up here. Uncovered some kind of ancient device, plain as an anvil. That's what affects the machines. The other bungheads voted to take it to Pitchcliff for auction. But it's taken a beating already. Like it dropped from the sky. But we tried to stop them digging it out. Without that thing up here, those Ganook will be massacred. I'll stop them. You two get out of here. It sounds like you've already done enough damage. Well, that's a fair appraisal. I mean, technically these guys really haven't damaged anything. They just found that this isn't like a religious thing. It's just a science thing. Because these are robots, not people. Anyway, so there's some type of nullification device up here, and these guys are being butts about the whole thing. What have you done? Who are you? You're not one of those Banook. <sighs> Too late. Let me look at it. Hold on, hold on. This was our delve. We did the work. You want to put your axe in? What's this thing worth to you? I don't know about this. This was your idea. You started it, you can finish. All right. Could be this thing's just scrap, but even scrap has a price. So I'll ask again, what's it worth to you? It's worth more to me than you are. You still want to negotiate? Forget it. All you've ever given me is black toes. <sighs> They've made a mess of this. What is this thing? This is an unknown artifact. So this says that it's corrupted code fragment detected, approximately 20 years old. Catastrophic malfunction. Signal un until response. So what is this? Is this like a weapon that's been like sitting here? And then all of a sudden like one of the code strings inside of it started to have an error that caused it to send out a signal to ask all of these robots to like just chill out up here? It looks like it's a part of something, like, it, if it fell from the sky, was it part of, like, a, a plane? If it was part of, like, a satellite, you'd expect this to leave a bigger crater and not survive. I don't know. It might just be that it's not really meant to be anything, it's just a plot piece. I know a lot of games do that. But that seems kind of lame, don't you think? Does this mean I have to kill the Glenhawks? Is that... Nope, they're gone. That means everyone's probably dead. Oh, looks like things are going well down there. I'm sure they'll be fine. No, they've already started attacking. I didn't even notice these balloons before. These are really cool. I bet that one chick is really pleased about this, though. Because she was, like, she was way down to start killing these creatures, like, five minutes ago. Not even. Yes. Roar and rend at me. I don't fear it. The machines are angered. Keep your distance. Hunters, defend the camp. Do what you must. Now you'll hear my song, machine. A sharp song. 
That lady has been like ready for this for like a week. She's just like, man, this is on like Donkey Kong. But wait, I can use him to kill people. Hold on. That's better. Now I'm going to steal that. Hey, bud, what's up? Could you all just not for like two seconds? Roar and rend at me. I don't fear it. Uh, okay. I mean, I fear it a little bit because these things can disembowel me. But, you know, to each their own kind of a deal, I suppose. Could, could you not? Like, that would be great. I'm trying to get your gun. Alright, alright, you need to settle down, mister, alright? Look, why don't you go and kill the lady who's talking about shooting you to death? Is that so much to ask? The hunt is back. Oh, come on. We're just like chilling there for a sec. All right, fine. I'm just gonna shoot you. You know what? I wanted to have some fun with this and like get a really cool gun and put it and put it like right up at you and just start shooting the shit out of you. But I guess that's just not in the heart of the cards today. So fine. Now you'll hear my song, machine. A sharp song. <laughs> Come on, get away from the trees, woman. The hunt is back. All right, if you're going to keep talking about the hunt, I'm going to need you to go ahead and actually hunt something. Or shut your mouth, lady. You're just really annoying in the background here. All right, where is this going to plunk me down? Probably wherever I was a second ago. Oh, I'm like way up here. All right, fine. The hunt is back. Keep your distance. Hunters, defend the camp. Do what you must. Okay, let's take care of this problem. Okay, let's just play this smart this time, I guess, since I'm just trying to dip around previously. Now you'll hear my Where is the big guy? There he is. Oh, come on. I just watched you run right through the Tazamajig. I'm calling shenanigans once again on this. That lady do something to you? Is this like a personal vendetta or something? I don't fear it. Alright, better. Alright, fine. We'll just do this the old-fashioned way. We'll just override you and you can kill all your friends. My song machine, a sharp song. This might even the odds. There was only a side effect. He's not going to be happy about this. Okay, well, now Tikuk is probably not going to be too thrilled with whatever I went up on the mountain and did. Because I'm basically, 
I'm like completely just shattering his entire belief system like in a in a stroke. Nora, did you know this change would come upon us? Not exactly. Although I know there is a lot changing in our world. This time it was outsiders. Those Asaram thought. The Asaram do not think. They will never understand the balance between us. Between man and machine. Now the blue light has gone. And we are left with many songs. But more for mourning than gratitude. So what now? Will you go back to your homeland? When we teach the young to walk on shifting ice, we say, the secret is taking one step, then the next. Perhaps one day, we will understand the machine's mysteries. I hope so. Good luck, Teacook. That is cool. Anyone can commune with the machine spirits as the shop. Well, that was something. In the grove, machines are unburned. <laughs> I also took vindictive revenge upon that stupid ravager. That was every bit as amusing as I thought it would be. You know what, hold on. We're gonna do a thing real quick. I'm gonna go loot this. Because I'm vengeful. Uh, how much ammo does this have? It's got enough to do a thing. To the horse. Oh, this is so good! Oh, I love this thing! It's the best! I mean, I can't loot the horse because that would be like a really overpowered way to grind in this game. But at the same time, I really, really liked that. I liked that a lot. I, I like Ravagers for the wrong reason, because I can shoot the cannon off of their back and use it to kill them with it. Is there nothing left for me to kill over here? Hello? You'll do just fine. Well, that was fun while it lasted, and pretty entertaining. Okay, let's go talk to that other dude. Uh, where is the other dude? Is he back at the, the, the city? Yeah, he's back over here. Okay, let's go back over here and talk to him. And then we'll work from there, I guess. And that'll probably be the last episode I attempt to record tonight, because I'm getting tired. Okay, let's go break the news to Dinglebutt and see him be all sad because he can't make money off of this whole endeavor. I'm sure it'll be everything he <coughs> dreamed it wouldn't be. <coughs> There's a lot of fire entertainers around that just breathe fire. You'd think that would get old after a while, but maybe that's like a religious thing to these people. Preferably with no friends or fa Outlander, are you looking for- Wait, I know your face. <laughs> you came back. <laughs> How did we fare? Expensively. That's what I was afraid of. The tame machines, it's hard to explain, but there was a kind of signal that calmed them. Your men got greedy, so it's gone now. Gambling's a shoddy job, girl. I should have been a weapons dealer. That's steady work. Here, take it. The half I'd owed those hammer-handed chunks. Half? I finished the job. And what was it you said? Enough to buy a more becoming garb? What do you want? Carja silks? Ah. Hoisted on my own purse strings. I like how that in exchange kind of acted like I was just paid in like raw money when in fact I was just paid in a mystery box 
And frankly, I don't think mystery boxes need to be in this game. Like, it's not like they're loot boxes where I have to pay for them, but they're really stupid. And they don't seem to belong in this game. Like, this is really just kind of like a shoddy way for me to store additional supplies while I'm on the go. And I don't really understand what the point is. Just give me rewards in, like, large sums of money if you're going to give me something. Because I've been literally accruing these things for a long time. And clearly I've not really had a need to use any of this stuff. So, like, what's the deal? I don't even have room for all this junk. All right, well, that was a little anticlimactic if that's the if that's the only kind of reward that I can expect in this game is a mystery reward that could be 5 bucks or could be like the best resources in the game. That's really lame. I am not a fan of that. That can just go away forever. In fact, that is that is I would go as far as to say that is very disappointing and very crappy. I don't know. It, I hope that when I get these, like, groups of loot together, like all those coffee cups and trade it into these specialty vendors, that I get something a little bit better than that. Because I'll be honest, if I'm just getting yet another mystery box, all of that extra loot on the map can just stay wherever it is. So I'm going to end it off for right now. And that's going to be it for this one. I've been your host, Larry. This has been more Horizon Zero Dawn. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.